make up names for people who have names. <laughs> I and totally do. What are you talking about? Me? I do that all the time. I'm <laughs> not really Misfit Tom. <laughs> He's not really Misfit Tom. <laughs> My name's Dave. I just can't correct him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, Misfits. Welcome to another Under the Lid. And this time we're taking a look at Eschaton. Now this was an awesome find. I was at uh, Gen Con and I met an awesome guy named Adam Watts. Stop laughing over there, by the way, guys. I see you. I see you out of the corner of my eye. Dr. Chaos is in house today, so don't mind me if I talk Nobody's off camera. At you. Shh, quiet, quiet. Anyway, so I had an opportunity to talk with Adam Watts. He is actually one of the rules designers for Eschaton over there at Archon Games. They had an awesome booth. They had this tall black pillar. Everything was all in black. There was a bunch of gothically dressed people. Is that a, is that a word, gothically? I guess, maybe. Yeah. But they were definitely gothic. And it was super awesome because I am I love all things Cthulhu, gothic, whatever, dark. Uh, doc, Dr. Chaos loves all Cthulhu God. even. Yes, all Cthulhu. And uh, this game they were telling me, and I can't wait to play it, was a game where you are cultists. And oh, yes, and yes. yes, and you even see this awesome looking rule book, which has like little culty symbols on here. It looks like a demon of some kind, you know, you probably sacrifice a goat or two. Rule book is definitely in keeping a theme. It looks pretty cool looking. I'll, I'll, don't worry, Dr. Chaos, I'll give it to you. Don't you worry. He gets excited for rule books. That is Dr. Chaos over here. Here, Dr. Misfit Chaos. There you go. There's your rule book. He's going to eat it. I'm pretty sure he's going to eat it. So this game is uh, based on your, your all cultists. And the goal of the game is, it is a deck builder, by the way. The goal of the game is to be the best cultist you can be, because guess what? <laughs> if you prove yourself the worthiest group of cultists ever, your demon, deity, whatever, is going to take you instead of those other a-holes to whatever promised hell that he promised you. He so, promised. I mean, it's, I mean, pretty much, yeah. Sounds like a good time, right? Yeah, Sounds like a I'm, good time. I'm all for it. Time to, get, time to get going on this whole cult thing. I but love a good had a very unique setting. The art was certainly unique. I love the art design on this. Very dark and gothic-y looking. It was very, very cool. They even had a little RPG book we got there, which was awesome, the, based on, you know, cult stuff or whatever and everything. It, it, it totally jived with everything. I loved it. So there is a lot of cards in this. And you can see the art style carries over. And again, thank you, Adam. You are awesome. And thanks you for giving me your time there. The interview is a great interview. They had a few other games there too. Check them out again, Archon Games. And um, uh, they had a couple other games based with the same art. They actually have a world building thing going on with all their art. They're trying to keep it all in the same um, space, which I really like actually. Not a lot of developers do that. I don't think any developers do that. Um, so we got our cards here. I'm gonna open a couple of these. And again, these are deck builders. It will help. Thank you, Dr. Chaos. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I've always liked you, Dr. Chaos. Even even if you laugh at me, I appreciate. <laughs> I don't laugh at you. I appreciate all of your okay, assistance. So maybe I laugh with you. Uh, yes. So maybe I do laugh you. With you. Yes, that I is. Do laugh at adjacent. You. you laugh adjacent to me. So you have your different characters here. Your different monsters. You have or oh, you have quick cards. Dr. Chaos found us the quick cards. They're awesome. Look at these quick cards. They look great. Look at that. Ooh, I love quick cards. Yes, so already they're a top developer because you, you know yes, you're sir. a top developer when you have quick cards. Definitely. You you excited to play this game, Dr. I Chaos? Am. I am all of a sudden. I was not. Right? I, I you weren't interested before, but now you're now, now you're all about it. Yeah. yeah. I want to be a cultist. <laughs> it's my life's work. So uh, if Mr. Tom would come on over, take a look at these awesome cards. He's excited there, Dr. Chaos is causing chaos as he always does. <laughs> You have your different monsters and stuff you could summon during the game. And actually, there's a couple more things in here that maybe not expect. We got some more boards. We got cubes because you can't have a cult without cubes, right? C, 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 they're all C's. Sacrifice. Sa no, it's you can S. That's sacrifice S. Things. Yes, you can. Very good. I, I did mention it was a cult. Sure. And what Why else not? are you doing? You're either going to do a couple things in a cult, and one of them is definitely sacrificing. And last but not least, actually, other baggies. Thank you again. Yeah. Baggies are very important. We have our boards here. We have, I imagine these are our player boards, your discard boards here. They're all kind of the same here. Nothing on the back. How many players? Six? It is, uh, I don't know, I gotta take a look. At the very oh, least four, it. we know that. Sacrificial Six. Pyre and Curses and Auras. Man, you're excited to play this I game. Am. Dr. K is super excited. <laughs> I've been excited to play this game. <laughs> Adam was super cool. You guys should definitely check him out, and I'm excited to meet these guys again. So um, I hope you enjoyed another Under the Lid. Keep an eye out for these guys. They're definitely up-and-comers. I like all their art theme and their style, and they are just they are just super cool people. We had a great time with them. So thanks again, guys, for joining me for another Under the Lid. 
This has been Eschaton, of course, for Archon Games. And uh, of course, don't forget to sacrifice on.